Okay, bricks. So in, uh, oh. uh, one, one quick... Uh... After start... Uh, or engine start where it says avionics master. Okay. Let that let that remind you. Oh, avionics. Okay, so we need to turn on the master and then also we'll, we'll set this okay. and then get aided or AWAS and you know just do a check. Obviously, we can hear each other because we're talking. But uh -huh. if you weren't, if you had a passenger or something, you could say. No. How do you how do you read me or how do you hear me or you don't have to okay. use pilot speak. You can just say, Can you hear me or, okay. or something. Just make sure just so they we can, can communicate hear. with you, yeah. Yeah. And then okay, so when you see that avionics, you you did this right, you you started it up and it warmed up a little. So now we'll get a a was okay. and then also in flight instruments, flight instruments, uh, it says radios, GPS, all of that. So flight instruments, that would be all of this. These we don't have to set. In some aircraft, you have to make sure that the aircraft is on the horizon. This you need to keep resetting because this will process. Obviously, this is a digital instrument, so we don't have to worry about precession or rigidity in space or anything like that. But in other aircraft, that's what flight, setting your flight instruments would mean and noting if this is off. It looks like it's just a little low. It's fine. It's not required for our flight. But we, if it's off, we want to note it's off so we're not in the air going, oh, it looks like we're descending. I'm going to pull back. And then... When we check AWOS, we'll get our altimeter setting, okay? Okay. And... So there's two places you can do that. One, when you see avionics master, you can say, okay, I'm going to start doing that. Um, and then down here, when you see flight instruments, radios, GPS, that can remind you after this is warmed up, okay, I'll go ahead and do this part now. Before your brake test and before we do radio calls. Uh, how can I on? Okay, so this is COM1, yeah. and this is COM2. So to listen to COM2, just push that, Picture and you'll hear it. One, four, Celsius, dew point, one, zero, Celsius, altimeter, three, zero, one, five. Remarks, density altitude, two, thousand, three, hundred. Kearney Regional Airport. Automated weather observation. One, three, zero, three, Zulu. Wind, two, zero, zero, at zero, six. Visibility, one, zero. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, one, four. Oh, what was the uh, altimeter setting? Uh, three, zero, one, five. Three, zero, one, five, okay. Uh, three, zero, one. Uh, right here. Okay, so wind comes from the two zero zero, so we gotta use one one eight. All right, that sounds good. So radio call is calling traffic Skyhawk seven four eight Romeo at Big Air, taxiing to north of the fire station. Yes. Okay. And then uh, uh, you traffic. can say via Alpha, the alpha. or uh, Alpha Taxi, Taxiway yeah. Alpha, Carney Traffic. Yep, you got it. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Carney Traffic, Skyhawk, Silver Flight, Go Romeo, at Big Air, uh, Taxi into your north of uh, Fire Station via Alpha, Carney Traffic. Good job. Okay. Okay. So, taxi, brakes. Okay. Good. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, my right, controls. Yeah, I'll, okay, I'll, I'll let you start telling me your controls. Okay. Okay. Uh, off the, uh, my controls. I have controls. You, you control. Okay, I have controls of the oh. brakes also. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my brakes check. Yeah, your controls. Okay. I have control. All right, your controls. I fill out your instrument. Check. Okay. Uh, then, proceed to precision. Okay. So we'll make the radio call, and then the brake check will be the only other thing, and then we'll taxi. Because if we if we tell people, hey, we're going to taxi over there, but then we do five more items on the checklist, okay. then we need to make another radio call. So um, this time, you can go ahead and start the taxi, but just make sure you have all the flight instruments checked before. Uh, and right then there. in the turn, oh. you can look at the yeah. bag compass, make sure it's full of fluid and swinging freely. Oh, yeah. Next to you, there, Piper. Yeah, so we'll be we'll be real careful. Okay. Taxing by them. So very close to the line. Right. Yes. And be careful. Sunny okay. traffic, sky seven three and uh, nine or zero November. Uh, taxing to the runway one eight on Alpha. Sunny traffic. And you can go power back a little bit when you... There you go. Okay, so the wind is coming a little bit uh, behind us to the left, or from uh, the left. There you go, so opposite way. Just think, da, 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 wherever it crosses in front of us, that's where you turn it to. Okay, so now the wind comes from the right, uh, right side and behind. So. I think it's still reporting 200, zero, zero, so oh, okay, it would be behind us to the left. Uh, left. So just imagine it coming through and wh wherever it ends up. and. and in front of okay. you, so that's the way you turn it to. I go real slow. We may have to put the wake turbulence theory to test today. Maybe go first. Uh, Carney traffic, Skyhawk 739 Azul on November, uh, on 1 3 approach. Carney traffic. Carney traffic, radio check 739 Azul November. Button clear. So wherever they depart, we want to depart before they lift off and keep a steeper climb angle than they had. Or we could wait three minutes for okay. dissipation before we take off. Uh, so, right up, checklist, nose wheel, straight, straight, yeah, sure. And brakes, set, doors and windows locked. Uh, Carney traffic, uh, Skyhawk 739, okay. or the November, cleared 1 3 approach on Alpha, Carney traffic. Right controls. Oh, oh sorry. That's why we do this, right? Yeah. So then yeah. I can be aware that I don't want to be in your way. Okay. Oh, yes. Yep. And then don't forget the rudder, too. Okay. 
sure the rudder is moving in the direction that you want it to. Yep. I think that's it. Okay, check. Fuel. Oh, getting some jet jet fuel air. Smell that? Yeah. That's from these guys because the wind's coming out of. Uh. It's blowing right towards yeah. us. Skytrack, uh. Sky, Sky Sky <laughs> 739 or Zulu November <laughs> taking off from the runway 18, uh, departing to the fuel southwest. Current <gasps> Uh, both. Make sure. Sit hold. Uh, I'm not sure how to set, set this up. Zero three from the terminal runway one eight. Carney. Okay, so they're and, gonna. And why? Why I have okay. to check? So when when we're in the taxi, if we have throttle back, we don't have much air going in, right? So pretty low RPM. So we don't need our rich mixture. We like to have it for the taxi just to bring it back a little bit. When we check for run up, depending on density altitude, density altitude is uh, to under three thousand, right? <laughs> Here, let's listen. We'll do, we'll just double check. Kearney Regional Airport. Automated weather observation. One, three, one, one. Zulu. Wind, one, eight, zero. At, zero, seven. Visibility, one, zero. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, one, four. Celsius, dew point, one, zero. Celsius. Altimeter, three, zero, one, five. Remarks. Density altitude, 2,300. Okay, so it's under 3,000. We're concerned about density altitude above 3,000. That's when we start to note a decrease in our, okay. our performance. What happens is, as the air gets less dense, it's almost as if we have, think of it as we don't have very much air going into our engine, correct? But we have full fuel. So that proportion is going to be too much fuel for that amount of air. So we go ahead and we take off some of that fuel. What you, you may think that this actually decreases power if we don't have enough fuel, but remember, there's that, I, if, if you understand chemistry, there's that perfect ratio of fuel and air to combust in that engine. If we have too much, we're going to have a decrease in performance. Okay. If we have too little, we have a decrease in performance. So when we clean the mixture for, for takeoff, uh, we like to find that perfect, mix, perfect mixture, the proportion. So when we do that, we're looking for initially a rise in our RPM. Okay. And that means, hey, look, we're burning at a great spot and then it starts to get the engine it'll it'll go down a little and the engine will get rough so then we want to go back to the smooth engine operation where it's at our peak sometimes it's hard to find a, a peak rpm sometimes it just gets rough well in that case then we enrich it until it's smooth again and then give it like two turns after that just just to make sure that we're not entering into that rough engine stage. It's hard to, to show um, a huge difference when it's the density altitude is low. So we'll just go ahead and leave it rich okay. for takeoff bef below 3,000. Okay. Throttle, uh, 1,700. Magnetos. Uh. Uh. Remember where the ignition oh, yeah. switch, so we're going to go two clicks to the left. Note the yep. drop. That looks like about, what, 150? Next. Okay. How we heat? That's it. So we should see a drop. Okay. If this is working, we should see a drop.
drop because this is heated air. Yeah. And so when it's going into the engine, it's making it more dense, yeah. right? So it'd be like we're at a hotter, higher, um, a, a, a hotter temperature. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, this one. We could do something like the, if you go back to the uh, amps. Yeah, like 739 or November, it's five miles to the southwest. Let it stabilize the real quick. And, and then just like maybe. RNAV runway 18 into Okay. Carney traffic. That wasn't a whole, whole lot of a drop. There we go, down uh -huh. to 12, okay. Total? I, I don't. Back to thousand. More or less. Carney traffic guy with the RJ will be departing runway 18 and will be making a right turn oh. westbound. Carney. Okay, so they're departing right now. Yeah. Dream set for takeoff. Yeah, set. Okay. Alright. Uh, Sky, uh, Skyway, Skyway. Skyway. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he might laugh at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> might say okay. no. <laughs> Skyhawk Sky <laughs> 740 Romeo uh, at north of the fire station, taxiing uh, uh, taxi to Romeo 18 via Alpha. Yes. <clears throat> okay. And then Carney traffic oh. at the end. Just because that guy didn't say Carney traffic at the end. He's getting lazy <laughs> in his old pilot age. <laughs> Kind traffic Skyhawk 74 Echo Romeo at north of the fire station, taxi into runway 18 via Alpha. Kind traffic. So, how, how do I say before the holding shot of the. Uh, wait, what's that? Okay, so that's the one three, approach one three approach area, yeah. And you can just say Cross. crossing through the one three approach area. Okay. When you get up there you can come slow down to a stop and then and then say it. I think that's how they Carney traffic scale is fifty seventy eight, three thousand climbing six thousand, right turn out to the west departing current traffic. Oh, there he said it that time. <laughs> Carney traffic, 739 is over 9 miles southwest of the field, 4,500. Did you give your radio call? Into Holdridge, or did you call just practice Carney. it? I don't remember. Uh, I, I called too. Okay, you did yeah. call. Okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, last time I did uh, practice. Yeah, and you, I was like, wait a minute. Did yeah. <laughs> I can't remember now. I, I remember you saying it, but I didn't remember if you were pushing the button. Okay. <laughs> all right, so we have wind now directly behind us. So uh, all uh, we have to do, there you go. Good job. You got that down. Maybe the wind comes from the left side. I, I feel two goes if right. You, if you feel it, if you feel like you can add a correction on the other side and it would help you taxi better, then don't worry about what they say because they only update this like every minute or however long it takes. If the wind's changing, then you, you go off of what you, what works for you. Okay. Sometimes the wind side goes like this. So you just, that's how you got to fly, right? Yeah. So, uh, uh, sh should I say where we are? Uh, just say we're, cr no, just crossing, say we're well, uh, crossing. You can say on Alpha. Approach. Okay. Uh, on Alpha. Oh, go ahead and stop here. Okay. Yeah, you can say that you're crossing the one three approach on Alpha and that will, that, oh. that gives you a pinpoint location. Okay. So. Kind traffic sky, uh, Skyhawk 740 Goromeo crossing 13 approach. Kind traffic. Okay. okay. And uh, after we are cleared, uh, just 
clear once reports. Yes. Okay. Um, that's best practice. However, I think most. I th the reason why I want you to do it today is I think Roman and and Ricky are practicing the one three approach okay. IFR. So I want them to know we are clear. Normally, if you don't hear somebody calling in, on you can, you can let them know you're crossing it. Uh, it's courtesy to say you're clear, but if nobody else is even in the area, I I would I would do it only if you know somebody is. In the area, it, you always do it before. Okay. Okay. So, see. Okay. traffic, Skyfox, seven four Colombia, clear. Once we approach. Yeah. Oh, kind traffic. I'll always do oh. it before, but whether you do it after or not, the people that don't have radios. Okay. Uh, then it's <coughs> going to have to be up to them to look for traffic before they land. But yes, do do it before for sure. Okay, so we're looking for traffic. So just, just a little heading to the left side to see the. Board. Yeah, I would. I would try oh. to stay on the center line okay. as much as as much as you can. It's okay this time, but next time maybe do a little turn to the right first, and then kind okay. of back. And you can also look as you're turning, since that is a good way to see the whole area too. Okay. So departure view. Uh, radials, Navi, uh, set, transponder, set, nice. Okay, one, one, two, zero, one, zero. zero. If this were on a code somebody had for IFR or, or even a cross country, it might say, you know, four, five, six, seven. And we would just type in <laughs> one, two, zero, zero, and then make sure it's on altitude. Okay. If you ever needed to change. That's how you do it. So departure review. Uh, okay. Departure briefing. You don't know what you have to hit off the warning. What? I could not understand you. There's a plane. Yeah. There, I think I heard him say something about taxing down Alpha, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, if there's an emergency before rotation, powered idle, brake is necessary. After rotation, pitch for the runway. Use power and flaps as necessary. Okay. After rotation, with no available runway remaining, and we're below 1,000 feet, we'll look for a place to land within 30 degrees of the nose. Shut down the aircraft and make a radio call as, as practical, okay. and if we have time and for safety reasons. Okay, and if we're at a thousand feet or above, we can determine whether or not we are able to circle back to the runway. This so first. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, departing from runway one eight to the southwest. Yeah, we'll go. Area? Yeah, we'll do southwest. Oh, okay, southwest practice. Okay. Can I go? Uh, yes. Uh, and just be uh, looking for traffic while yeah. you're making your call. Okay, so uh, as Skyhawk uh, Sky Seven go Romeo and departing from just departing from runway one eight for southwest departure. Yes. Okay. Current traffic Skyhawk Seven Four Eco Romeo departing from runway one eight to the south southwest practice area. County traffic. Very good. Okay. Okay, looks clear on final. Yep. Nine, it's okay, don't worry about him. Okay. I want to make sure you do your before or departing checklist. So fuel selectors on both. Got to make sure rich landing light on. So landing light on? Um. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about this guy. Okay. He can wait for us. We're we're being safe pilots. Don't let somebody rush you into dying. Okay. And Whenever you're ready, I'm going to let you go ahead and do full power, nice and smooth. Okay, we're 
we're going to stay on the center line. Just look over, make sure the airspeed needle is coming, is moving. Yep. Okay, we'll look back. Now we're going to look over and make sure that the oil pressure is... Okay, go ahead and depart. Nice, you did that all by yourself. <laughs> Beautiful Mazda Hero. Thank you. All right, so now we're just going to remember that attitude. We want to hold that, and then we're yep. going to look and make sure that our airspeed says that that's pretty darn close. So it looks like about 75. That looks good to me. And then we're just going to make sure. Oh, oh. that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we. Don't, it's like driving. You don't want to swerve, right? Swerve, you might cause a. You might hit a tree. So uh, okay, we're going to just. Turn around, look behind us, make sure we're on the center line. If if we're not, we can make a small correction. Have full fuel. I do not know why it's giving us that message. Sorry. Two nine Romeo is uh, rolling on. Yeah, and if you have. If you need to, you can lower the nose at any time and just do a nice scan for traffic. And then raise the nose and, and continue climbing. Okay. Yeah, don't feel you have to fly blind and not know what's your level or anything like that. If you're if you General Romeo's off. One eight, turn to the east and back to the north. Carney, have a good day. Alright, so our center line, we're off a little bit on our center line. You want to turn around and look. We're drifting a little bit to the left so you can make a, a slight adjustment. We're actually uh, we're leaving the practice area. I'll, I'll give a radio call position okay. report. And then let's have you turn. Uh, let's go towards this. We'll turn to the southwest. Carney Traffic, Skyhawk 74 Echo Romeo is climbing through 3,600 for the Southwest Practice Area, Carney. Tunana Romeo is losing the uh, traffic pattern, Carney. The north, past 3,200. Northland traffic, uh, November 66, November, I'm about 16 miles south. I'll be entering a left downwind for 17 North Platte. Wait, the North Platte. Huh. <laughs> well, let's go up to 5,000. Okay. It's nice and smooth today. 29 Romeo is entering a uh, left up wind for runway 18, Carney. Entering left up wind. Uh, runway 17 for North Platte. Uh, we're off. We're 3,800 climbing, 19,000. Where are you guys? I'm about. Um, uh, let's see, it's like 13 miles south still, and uh, I'm at uh, 4.5. Okay, cool. We'll uh, we'll just crank it up, and uh, you have a nice day. Okay, thank you, too. I appreciate your help this morning. No problem. Anytime. We'll see you. <laughs> okay, we can, let's lower the nose a little, and we'll just look for traffic. Okay. And we can also make little turns, too. Okay, so yeah. you can do little clearing turns. Back and forth to kind of. Taking Unigon layers to clear. Right out for Bravo, 20 minutes out, looking for an airport advisor. And then let's do our climb checklist. Okay, so after we depart and we're free of all the distractions of the traffic pattern, then we can do our climb. Okay, so airspeed uh, is 80. Throttle, pull, make sure. Uh, Flight driver SkyWest 5049 departing area to the uh, west. We're 5,300 climbing. Have a good day. Okay, so that's uh, North Platte. Right. Yeah. All right. So make sure we can yeah. go ahead and start la leaning it Two times. above 3,000. 
Uh, yeah, let's do, let's do, let's do three turns since we're at 4,500. Every thousand feet, I would do two turns at above 3,000. A little bit of right rudder in the, in the climb. Carney traffic, uh, 2-9 Romeo's left upwind for runway 1-8. Hey. This guy doesn't know what upwind is. First of all, there's no left or right upwind. Uh -huh. There's only one runway, so when you're going straight, you're not left or right. And he keeps calling turning upwind. 29 Romeo's crossing over 1836 at the end of 36 for turn into a left downwind for runway 18. There we go. I know what left downwind is. Okay, let's turn to the south. Okay. We'll be our clearing turn so you can level off at 5000. I did that at the same time, that way you would have to turn and level off. And traffic to south. Our flat traffic, uh, 66 November, five miles southeast, entering a left downwind, 17 north flat. And I'm going to have us leave our landing light on, just because it's so hazy out. Yeah. And also, if our beacon is acting up, it's just one more light to help us. Okay. So let's go ahead and we'll review flow flight. Okay. So we want to slope the aircraft. We know we're going to bring our power back below the green arc. We'll go ahead and turn on carpet first. Power back, 1500 RPM. 15 to 18. We want to slow up first. We can then go ahead and add. Romeo, be turning left base, runway 18, Carney. Thank you. And then below 110, we can add first 10 degrees of flaps. Below 85, we can add second and third. 66 November, left downwind, 17. Maintain 5,000. 5,000? Okay. And then Oops. below 85, yeah. Okay, we can go ahead, add 20, and then right after that, 30. There you go. Okay, good. Maintain 5,000 and at 55 knots. Hold 55. If you need to add a little bit of power to hold 55 and 5,000, that's fine. Good night, Romeo. Turn it final one by one. Carney. Let's knob. do a turn. So you see our airspeed starting to bleed off. Let's add a North little bit of power. Six, 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 More power. Don't want to stall. Little right rudder. We don't want to spin, yeah. right? <laughs> so if we need to go, this looks good. Oh, we're gonna turn, so we're gonna lose a little bit of lift. Yeah, so if we have, to, we have any more power, let's turn to the west, okay? Okay. We really need to make sure we have that that rudder in there, that ball centered. No more than standard rate. Right now we're, our airspeed's a little fast, so we can take that power back. Romeo off at uh, 1-8 at Charlie. Charlie off at Big Air. Hi, 
let's turn back to the south. Take a little bit of power off so we can get to 55 and 5,000. A nice small, high standard rate term.